How do I publish an HTML report in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.361.4. I also have a job already set up on this controller pointing back to a sample repository. The link to this repository is down in the description. Let's take a look at the initial Jenkins file that we're going to be running. What I have here is a simple pipeline script where we're going to run mavenw clean install site surefire report report, and then we're going to output tree just so that we can see what files exist in the workspace. Now let's go back to the controller. And in order for us to actually publish HTML reports, we first must install the HTML publisher plugin. Now on this controller, if we go to manage Jenkins, manage plugins, and go to installed, you can see that I've already installed the HTML publisher plugin. At the time of recording, this plugin version is 1.31. So let's go over to our dashboard and let's run this job one time. So we'll click on build now. And what we're going to be doing is it's going to run the job, run the test, build the site, and also create the report for Surefire. So we'll come back over here and let's watch what happens with this job build. And now that the job has completed, let's take a look at the output from tree because the job did complete successfully. What we're looking for is the site directory that's created from running mavenw site. It generates CSS files for us, and it also generates the Surefire report HTML. Now let's go over and take a look at the output from this job. What we're going to see is nothing's really changed from a standard way of looking at jobs. So let's go back into our sample repository and let's take a look at Jenkins file publish HTML dash two. What we're going to see here is we've added in a post section on success for publish HTML and a lot of parameters that are here. Now let's go and figure out what these parameters really mean. So we'll go back into our pipeline syntax. We'll change our sample step to publish HTML. And if we take a look at the values here, we can see that the report dir is target slash site. Well, if we were to take a look at the output from that first job run, that's the location of the site directory. It's under target. So I'd specify target slash site. So this is all relative to the workspace. My index page, in this case for Surefire, isn't index.html, it is surefire-report.html. And then we could also add in optional index page titles. But for my report title, what I want is I want to have, in this case, instead of HTML report, I'm going to say Surefire report. Now, there are other publishing options that you can select. You can keep past HTML reports, always link to the last build, allow missing report. You can decide which files to include. By default, it includes all files within site. We can also escape underscores and also use the legacy wrapper file. Those are all checked by default. So when I click on generate pipeline script, this is the line that I copy and pasted into this Jenkins file publish HTML dash two. So let's go back into our job and let's modify it to instead of running our dash one Jenkins file, we are going to run our publish HTML dash two job. So let's go ahead and click on save and click on build now. Now that the job completed this time, we still see our tree, but then we see this extra step that was in our post section, archiving HTML reports. And we can also see here that it's archiving at the project level. So what does that mean? Well, let's click back into our job, Java web app. And what you'll notice this time on the left nav is Surefire report. This is the title that we set up inside the publish HTML step. So when we click on the Surefire report, now we can see the Surefire report that was added in to that site directory because we archive the target site directory. And now we can see this report within our Jenkins controller as if we were just running Maven site on the command line and then opening up the Surefire report HTML file. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.